I get to sit down with George Murphy, and he's just going to share with us uh, just a, a testimony and and share with us um, his perspective of September 11th, 2001. Well, in my career, I was working in federal law enforcement. Uh, that day, I was working at the federal lockup, which is in uh, Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Uh, normal day, just like today, um, sunny out, beautiful, um, you know, just like any other day. And uh, at some point in time during that morning, um, we had all the prisoners. They all started getting flustered, and they had like Sony Walkman. And they were getting the, uh, uh, you know, the news uh, streamed to them via these Sony Walkman. And they became very upset. They'd be, you know, these are guys that are locked up with, locked up with us for you know, heinous crimes. But it even affected them emotionally because they knew that there were innocent people in those buildings. They were screaming out to us, hey, you know, they're, they're attacking us, they're attacking us. And, and I'm like, what are they talking about, you know? And they're like, hey, they're, they're, they're flying planes into the World Trade Center. And so at first, you know, like you, you just don't know whether to believe that or not. And then we started to look out the windows um, of the uh, federal lockup and we saw all the smoke and debris uh, coming over from Manhattan. And at first we all started thinking, well, maybe this is just, you know, an accident. Maybe a plane just accidentally flew into the building and, and now it's a real big, uh, big disaster. But then the second plane flew into the building. And um, at that point, we all started receiving alerts and notifications that um, there was a possible terrorist attack. It was kind of strange because we all felt at one, at one time, usually you'll have law enforcement against the prisoners, prisoners against law enforcement in the way of, you know, uh, adversaries. Um, but that day, that was not like that, and that wasn't like that for many months. So we, they, they felt the same way we felt, and it kind of brought us all together. Um, I have to say, uh, a very horrific day. Um, we didn't get to to see it up close from Brooklyn. We we could just see it from afar. Uh, but as we turned on the news and um, started to see further information, um, it was a very horrific event. My wife and I were both in law enforcement at the time. She spent a lot of time down there at Ground Zero. Um, and uh, then later transferred to the uh, Staten Island uh, dump sites where they were bringing over the rubble and remains of Ground Zero uh, in efforts to uh, collect uh, remains, DNA, so that way they can give closure to the families that were waiting to hear uh, about their loved ones. It seems like on that day, that event, as horrible as it was, did tend to unify um, people from all different walks and, and life views. Yes, it did. Uh, the people that were working down at Ground Zero or over in Staten Island, um, you know, they were from all walks of life. They weren't only police officers or firefighters. Uh, they were construction workers. They were sanitation workers. They were regular civilians that came in to help. Uh, even if they were given out uh, bottles of water or, or resources to the, uh, you know, ground effort to recover, uh, rescue and recover uh, people. Um, so it wasn't just regular, you know, uh, your law enforcement or, or your firefighters. It was absolutely other kinds of people as well. Um, you saw everyone come together in New York um, that day and, and many months after that. Um, there was just a love for one another. I felt it. Um, you walked into a place and you were in uniform and, and the, the, the person who was uh, serving you, you know, said, hey, you know, have a blessed day or, or, you know, hey, stay safe or, you know, thank you for what you did. And, you know, and you say, hey, thank you. You know, thank you for treating me well and thank you for this. And everybody was one at that time. So we're quickly approaching the 20-year mark from September 11th, 2001, and 
what are your reflections over these last 20 years of of what occurred on that day um well you know back then i saw the love with people i saw we were united as one but that's all diminished throughout the years um some people have forgotten some of the young people don't even know the date um but there are a lot of people out there that lost their husbands their wives their children their mothers their fathers friends and they're still being affected by that each and every year that we have 9-11. Um, and you had someone that just lived a couple miles from you. Yeah, he was a guy that I worked with in the uh, New York City Fire Department. He was a paramedic. Um, he just got married. They just bought a home together, probably a few miles from our home. And that day he was working in Queens which is the outer boroughs of Manhattan. And when uh, the notifications went over, uh, he went racing towards Manhattan with the ambulance and his partner uh, because his wife worked in the towers at the same time. And uh, he was very you know, worried like any husband would be and, and rushed there. And he didn't know that she was already evacuated, but he ran into the building thinking that she was still there and the building collapsed on him. Yeah. Uh, to this day, they have a, uh, a park in New York City, Queens, that's named after him. His name is Carlos Lilo. Um, and every year, uh, some of us, when we can, make it get together for that event in remembrance of our friendship with him and his dedication uh, to serving people, uh, selflessly in the community. How has the events that transpired that day affected you in, in your faith in God? My faith in God has increased over the years as I give it much more thought as to that day that God is there for us. Uh, he's made dramatic changes in my life um, within my family and in my thoughts, you know, we have the two, uh, you know, commands. And the first command is, you know, love thy God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and all your strength. But the most secondly is to love thy neighbor as they love thyself. And now I love my neighbor as I love myself. And we are thankful for, for you and for your wife and for all of those um, that played a, a role um, in coming to the rescue and putting their life uh, on the line for, for all of us that day. And so thank you for your service. Thank you for sitting down and just sharing your story with us. And uh, we're, th we're thankful for you and thankful that you're part of our church. Oh, I'm, I'm thankful for being here.